Hi everyone, welcome to week five of New School Yoga Club. I'm so grateful you have found your way here, whether this is your first week practicing with Yoga Club or you've been joining us since the beginning. I'm so glad that you are finding value in these practices. Okay, let's get started in a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you today. And when you get there, sit up nice and tall. You might close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And we'll take a few minutes to settle in into this moment onto your mat. Setting aside anything that's come before, anything that's coming later. Just focus on noticing how you feel right now without judgment. At Yoga Club, you can show up as you are. So don't judge if you're feeling, you know, kind of down or anything like that. That's okay. Just show up here. Just notice how you're feeling. Allow it to be there. Bring awareness to your breath. Just noticing how it feels to breathe here on your mat. Okay, and then go ahead and open your eyes. We'll do a warm up seated on the floor. So start by taking a big inhale, bring both arms overhead and we'll take it to a side stretch. So stretch over to the right first, bring the left arm overhead. Find any movement that feels good here. We'll hold for just a few breaths. Good, and then inhale back to center. And exhale over to the other side. Big stretch, again, finding any movement that feels good for you here. Remember to breathe. And then release back to center. Okay, we'll take our seated twist next. So just with your hands at your side, sitting up nice and tall, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, twist over to the right, gently finding that twist. Nice and long through the spine. Sit up tall, look out over your right shoulder. Beautiful, take your time, just switching sides. Find your twist on the other side. Gently finding this shape, never forcing yourself into this shape. And that's always true with our practices at Yoga Club. Make sure you're listening to your body. Nothing should be painful. We're never forcing the stretch. Listen to your body. Okay, release that. We'll do our seated cat-cow stretch again. So with your hands just gently resting on your knees or depending on your seated position, wherever makes sense for you. And on an inhale, open the chest, look up. And as you exhale, curve the spine like a C, tuck your chin, finding a stretch through the back. And then just keep that moving with your breath. So as you inhale, coming back into this cow shape. Exhale, curving the spine, finding a seated cat pose. 
Good, one more time, a big inhale. And exhale. Good, and then just release. Come back to your seated position. Okay, I want you to take your time finding mountain pose. So standing. Okay, you can stand right at the top of your mat. For now, I'm gonna stay facing you for a minute. I'm gonna take a minute here before we find stillness and shake it out a little bit. Um, you might feel a little silly, especially if you're in a group of people and that's okay. Um, but I want you to start by just kind of shaking out your arms and hands. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just imagine releasing any stuck energy letting go of things we don't need. If you're at home, you might even like get your legs in on the action, just really shake it out. <sighs> Taking deep breaths as we do that. Good, and then when you're ready, find stillness at the top of your mat in mountain pose. So feet about hips width apart, arms at your sides. Take a few breaths here and notice how you feel after shaking it out a bit. I notice some tingling and aliveness in my hands. Good, okay. On an inhale, bring both arms overhead, palms to touch. And as you exhale, go ahead and hinge from the hips, dive forward, coming into a forward fold. Take your time, bend your knees slightly never locking our knees in our yoga practice. And once you get here, you might cross your arms and hang. You might let the fingertips just gently touch the ground. You might find a little movement, a little rocking or swaying. Okay, and then I want you to take your time rolling back up. Head will be the last thing to come up. You can let your arms just hang. There's no rush. Find your way back to standing mountain pose. Take a breath here. Okay, I want you to step back with the left foot into a warrior two. So take a nice wide stance. If you've been practicing with us for a while, you know this pose by now. Um, but if you're new, make sure your knee is lined up over your ankle. A nice deep bend here. Your back foot is either parallel with the back edge of the mat or turned in slightly. Again, don't lock out that knee. And deep into that front knee, bring the arms out wide. Gaze out over your right hand. We'll take a few breaths in stillness and then we'll add some movement to our warrior two pose today. Okay, so on your next inhale, we'll straighten this leg. Don't lock it, but we're straightening this leg and bringing both arms up overhead. So it looks like this. So inhale, straighten, bring arms overhead. And exhale, lower back down to warrior two. Maybe even coming a little deeper into the pose now. Good, let's try that again. Inhale, arms come up, straightening the front leg. And exhale, coming back into warrior two. Awesome, let's do one more. Inhale, rise up. Even look up at your hands. And on your exhale, lower back down to warrior two. Okay, from here we'll come into our high lunge. So to do that, you'll bring both hands back to the mat um, on either side of your right leg, and you'll bring the back heel up. All right, finding our high lunge shape. I like to get situated here, do a little, little movement. You're welcome to do that as well. Okay, now when you're ready, we're going to take this into a twist. So. You might be comfortable bringing the palm of your left hand all the way down to the mat. You might need to tent the fingers to stay up a little higher, or you might even bring in a block here 
or a stack of books or something like that if you need to bring the floor up a little higher, okay? And when you're ready, we'll put a little more weight into the left hand and bring the right arm along the left arm and all the way up into a twist. We'll just hold this briefly. Couple of breaths. Okay, then bring the right hand back to the mat. Come up into high lunge with your arms overhead. Take your time getting here, find your balance. Okay, we're about to release this high lunge and transition into a wide leg forward fold. So, you can release the arms, okay? And just take your time, release the legs here coming into a wide leg stance. Your feet should be parallel or even turned in slightly, remembering not to lock the knees, so a slight micro bend in the knees here is great. And we're going to hinge from the hips, so I like to bring my hands to my hips to start. And take an inhale to prepare, open the chest. And as you exhale, slowly hinge from your hips. Again, keeping a small bend in the knees. Come down to you, until you feel a nice stretch through the back of your legs. You can keep the hands at the hips if that's comfortable. If you'd like to bring the hands down to the mat, you're welcome to do that as well. Let the head hang. You might shake it no or yes. Releasing tension from the neck. Remember, put a little um, more weight in the front of your feet. You can play around with that. Notice if you're really leaning back into your heels, and I encourage you to put more weight in the front of your feet. Good, some deep breaths here. Okay, take your time coming up. Slight bend in the knees. Slowly coming up the way we started. Good, okay. Now we'll take it to the other side. We're going to repeat that warrior two and high lunge sequence on the other side. So turn the left toes out facing the back of the room, okay? And your right toes, again, are, are parallel with the back edge of the mat or slightly turned in. And we'll come into warrior two. So bend into that left knee, knee over ankle. Bring the arms out wide. And find stillness in warrior two for a few breaths. Gazing out over your left hand. Okay, we'll find that movement again. So on an inhale, rise up, look up at your hands, make sure your shoulders aren't scrunched up into your ears here. And as you exhale, lower back down. Again, inhale, exhale. One more time, make it a good one, a big inhale. And exhale. Okay, remember we're going to find a high lunge on this side now. So bring both palms to the mat, either side of your left foot. Pick up the back heel. Find high lunge. Take a little movement here if that feels good. Find a comfortable stance. When you're ready, we'll twist. So this time bringing the left arm up overhead, gently twisting toward the left leg. Look up if that feels comfortable. Okay, release the left hand back down to the mat. We'll come back up into our high lunge with the arms overhead. Take your time getting there, finding your balance. I'm a little shaky today. Arms overhead, nice strong pose here. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to come into the wide leg forward fold one more time. So release your arms, come out of that pose in a way that feels comfortable. You can shake it out a little bit <clears throat> and find your wide stance again. Hands to the hips. Big inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, hinge from your hips, slight bend in the knees, slowly bringing the head toward the ground. This time I'm going to release my arms. You're welcome to join me. Remember, put a little weight in the front of your feet. You might even walk the hands back slowly beneath the feet, depending on how you're feeling today. And just let the head hang and come lower toward the mat. Taking a few deep breaths here. Okay. And you can walk the hands back out. We'll rise back up so you can bring slight bend in the knees, bring hands back to hips, hinge from the hips the other direction now. Come all the way up, do that slowly so you're not getting dizzy. Okay, we're gonna shake this out and come to a seated position now. So you can toe heel the feet in if you'd like or just step in, whatever works for you. Shake the legs out a little bit, shake the arms out and come to a seat. And from here, all the way to your back. You're down on your mat, bring the knees into the chest. You might rock side to side. It's a nice massage for your lower back. You might do some circles. If you're circling it out, make sure you switch directions. Good, and then find some stillness, hugging the knees to the body. You might close your eyes. We're winding down our practice now. Okay, from here, we're going to take a reclined pigeon pose. So bring both soles of the feet to the mat, bring your feet back to the mat to start. Bring the left ankle on top of your right thigh. You might find that this is enough of a stretch for you. But if you'd like, you might also lift the right foot up off the mat. So bringing the knee closer to your body. Toes are flexed and, and alive and there's energy in both feet. Okay. You might even thread your arms through the legs here. So taking hold of the right leg with both hands and start to gently pull the right leg into the body so that you're feeling more of a stretch through the left hip. Really listen to your body here. Don't force anything. I like to rock side to side a little bit just to find where I'm needing the stretch. One more deep breath here. Good, just release that and we'll switch sides. So bring the left foot down to the mat, the right ankle to the top of the left thigh. Maybe this is your pose, your stretch today, or you can play around with bringing the left foot off the mat and the left knee closer to the body, maybe even using the hands to pull the left leg closer. Toes are flexed. Maybe you find some movement here. Okay. One more deep breath. Take your time, release your feet back to the mat. And we're gonna find our way back into, not back into, but find our way into our final resting pose. And so I like to do that by taking a little windshield wiper action first. So dropping the knees to one side and then to the other. 
Breathing deeply and just sliding the feet out slowly as you do that until you find your legs are extended and you can just let the knees fall open, the feet fall open, the arms can rest, palms up at your sides. Close your eyes if they're not already and if you feel comfortable doing so. And just check in with yourself like we did at the beginning of our practice. Notice how you feel. With each exhale, imagine releasing more tension from your body. Letting your body feel heavy and supported by the mat, by the floor. You can rest here as long as you'd like. Or if you're ready to close our practice, you can go ahead and roll to one side. And then take your time, press your way back up to a seated position. comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you. You can keep the eyes closed. And I like to end our practice by taking three deep breaths together. So take a great big inhale. Let something go on your exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one, deepest breath you've taken all day. Big inhale. Let it go on your exhale. And then go ahead and open your eyes. You're awesome. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.